let's move on we're still on some sa hip-hop vibes and we're gonna speak about my guy yashir aka j molly it's yashir yeah or you shy something like that oh my god um so you guys know j molly i've covered him we've done a few videos on him and yeah so after his whole you know unaliving himself attempt he you know he got onto instagram to tease a whole bunch of things he was doing collaborations he was doing with mt rapper mt and you know they were in studios we heard some snippets we saw a whole bunch of pictures if you guys followed him on instagram and stuff like that um which i did yeah so now we're kind of waiting for the project we're waiting for a single waiting for something you know what did they cook up and then a nigga comes to say pretty much you know it comes to say they shit ain't dropping ain't dropping shit mt is a junkie he's, he's always buying them kfc he ain't doing shit in the in the stool the nigga can't tie his shoe the nigga's always sleeping in the stool the nigga is smelling they have to drive him everywhere because he doesn't have money for transport he doesn't have money for food he's always buying them kfc nigga hopped up on just drugged up on lean he's sipping on that lean he's drinking too much lean he's smoking too much he's sweating at his fans going live every day he's sweating at his friends sweating at his fans mother he's just uh, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga just went all out which is just i mean it's just oh my god it's crazy so we're gonna watch just here um obviously he's deleted his pages actually jay molly's pages disappeared like we don't know where it is he's he deactivated but uh slicker on live shout out to slicker they've got it for us um he was on live so they caught it for us we're gonna watch it and yeah take it away yeah share take it away as a stand-up guy what do i do as a stand-up guy I, I pay for the studio session. So obviously this is a live, right? Um, but it's not like, it's not at the beginning and it's not until the end. Um, I don't know who else has a full live of it, but this is just the one I saw. Um, and I think this one is just, it'll be suffice to sort of get the context of what's happening. Um, yeah. What do I do as a stand-up guy? I, I pay for the studio session. I give them gas money because motherfuckers ain't got no money. So I give them gas money. They pull up, I buy KFC for them because they can't order the own KFC. He's hitting them with a KF, damn, MT, bro. He's hitting you with the KF and you're still like doing shit. Um, I buy lean for them. Ooh. You know, MT leaning off that shit hard. I buy lean from, for MT and Saruno so they can like geek out, have their fun. <laughs> and then I'm with MT. He's either passed out on the couch or like he's like passed over and he can't put his shoe on. Like that shit for like five minutes. Like he lost his shoe, bro. <laughs> he lost his shoe, bro. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And he couldn't. No, Nick, you're gonna leave me alone. Nick's gonna watch this thing. He yeah. couldn't. He couldn't. Hey, the homie is trying to stay. <laughs> the homie in the background is like, "Jay Molly, don't do this, bro. Don't do this." They're gonna. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is a mess. Put his shoe on. He was bent over for five minutes. Couldn't put his shoe on. So. I've had three serious sessions with MT in the, in the last week. He couldn't even write one bar. Like I would leave him in the studio so that do your thing, King. Come back. Motherfucker read four bars in, in two hours. And two of the lines ran with each other. So <laughs> Damn. Three hours, nigga wrote four lines. Oh my god. I'm getting the hood. It's MT, I'm good in the hood. It's MT, I'm good in the hood. It's MT, I'm good in the hood. It's MT, they hit me with avocado. <laughs> so like four bars, like, I'm in the hood, it's good. MT hustle, yeah, it's good. Like he ran yeah, too. good. MT, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a flow, man. He's got a flow, he's got something. Why are you getting it? You spent an hour and a half writing these bars. No, nah, this is not good. This is not good. And like he was like, you rhymed two two lyrics with the same thing. So like, nah. for the last three times I tried to do sessions with me, I paid for everything. Mm. I bought them KFC. He hit them with the KF guys. You guys are not understanding. KFC ain't cheap, bro. A street wise three is like eighty bucks. You know what I mean? <laughs> so niggas coming out of his pocket like this, you know. I pay for their transport because I think I don't think they don't have no money. So that's why I pay for their transport. <laughs> I think they ain't got no money, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I did the best I could, bro. They pull up to the studio. Uh, I buy them lean because you know lean. NC is a lean addict. Wow. That's Bruno. They both lean addicts, so I buy their lean for them. 
Junkies, junkies, junkies. MT, correct black. Same WhatsApp group. <laughs> junkies, junkies. Oh my god. I watched them sip. He either got MT swearing at his fans on live or, or he's sleeping. Either MT sleeping or he's on live swearing at his fans. That's what he does best, you know. It's like swearing at his fans, like mm. showing them his I don't know what he's showing them. He doesn't even come with any witty comments. He just says like, oh, oh fuck your mother. He doesn't even say anything that's smart or like something that would like really touch you. Yikes, 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 man. Um, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. We get the gist. Um, yeah, I mean, all jokes aside, we all know this thing with MT. It's just like, oh, it's rough because you can see that the guy is really going through it and he's, he's really, you know, kind of abusing drugs. If you watched podcast, he was he was recently on podcast and chill. Yeah, man, we covered it. Where he talks about the joint venture, he speaks about the joint venture, and then you could see on the episode that the bruv was really not all there. You know, like like eighty percent, eight six percent of him was there, but it's just like the slurring, the you know, you you're not really finishing your words, you're not really making um, coherent thoughts, you're not really like. Also, you just like, you just, you know, sometimes you can see what niggas on drugs, bro. It's not like it's difficult with the, in this new new age with social media. If they can see when niggas are geeked, you can see when somebody is just like, it's just like not there. You know what I mean? So it's really sad to see that he's now kind of letting it affect his career, you know, because rapping, making music, that's his career. That's how he makes his bread and butter. He doesn't do anything else. You know what I mean? Um, apart from what I know, you know, so it's, it's it's rough and obviously as jay molly you know we can laugh and clown and everything but like at the end of the day like the nigga is spending his money to try and you know also better his career is trying to make a song trying to make a product like who knows they could make a fucking hit banger you know tomorrow they bought international stars you know so the fact that this guy is putting in all the effort trying to cover the cost to make this project and then there's another nigga who's just like not taking it serious not really doing shit obviously you're going to feel some type of way you know especially if this is somebody who you deem as a professional is, is somebody who you look up to who you know is capable of making great music you know is you know and and it's, it kind of makes you feel like ha ah, this guy's not taking me serious you know because how the hell i live with vibes you know that vibe so yeah it's a tricky tricky situation man and i think mt just Bro, MT just needs to. Even saying the lean thing is correct, which ugh, I think that's that's what we believe because watching all these American rappers, you can tell when these people are on lean. They're very slow. They're very slurish. They don't finish their thoughts, you know. And that's exactly the symptoms that MT exhibits when you see him on interviews, when you see him on live, that and stuff like that, you know. So, and I think people like man. I don't know if I've said this before on my channel, but like people don't really understand how fucking dangerous and addictive codeine is i'm not even gonna call it lean because that's gonna give it like a cool name but codeine is very fucking addictive and it's very fucking dangerous it's literally an opiate it's literally you know akin to things like percocets and xanax and stuff like that it's the same shit it's an opiate and trying to kick the buck from that trying to you know get sober from that is not easy because you go through withdrawals and your body just fucking shuts down the withdrawals are so much that you just need to go back on the drug. Otherwise, you feel like you're going to die. You feel like it's death, you know, type of vibes. So, and lean is just, lean is terrible, man. It kills your livers. It kills your livers and it just fucking rots your, your, your teeth and it just makes you a whole bunch of other crazy shit, man. It's, so it's not worth it. Don't do the lean, kids. Don't do the lean. MT needs to relax on that. She needs to kick the bucket. And yeah, all right, cool. Let's move on, man. Let's move on. Shout out to Yashir.